Well, I went out and got the Bel Air for my dad's house. So I have an old car to cruise in. Got the deposit on that and brought the title down from my, I had the title up at my dad's, so brought that down and got the Bel Air here. I think I'm going to clean it all up. It's been up at my dad's for, since I got, before I got the Pontiac, so I'll do a little video of that. We'll, uh, pressure wash the engine and the undercarriage and vacuum it all out and like put a coat of wax on it too. It's been probably two years since it's been waxed. Probably not too many more times I'll have both the cars in the garage together. So I'll get a little video of the two of them parked together. Well, I'm going to back the Chevy out now and give the engine a good pressure washing. So, get the garage door open here and get the car out. I'll do a little video of uh, doing the engine out too, cleaning it up. Yeah, it's not too bad, just some grease down in here and it just needs a good cleaning. It's just got a lot of dirt, bugs and stuff stuck on the top of the hood there, so... We'll just give it a good pressure wash, clean all the bugs out of the radiator core support area and everything. It's been a good while since this car's had a bath, probably two years, so we got the pressure washer out. We'll do it. I'll run the windows up here so I don't get water in the car. And uh, we'll get the pressure washer cranked up here and get going. Well, let's see what shows up. did pretty good. Always do this to a cold engine. You never want to pressure wash a warm engine. It'll suck the moisture into it. So I'm going to finish up and then I'll do some video when I'm done. After I uh, pressure wash the engine cold, I crank it up. I blow it off first with like the leaf blower and air hose or something. Then I uh, crank it up and let it come up to operating temperature for 15 minutes or so. Then I pop the cap off after it sits for five minutes, ten minutes or so, and blow it out because you get a little bit of water in the bottom of the distributor and terrariums up into the cap. 
I didn't have any water in it, but I always pop them anyway and blow them out. And uh, make sure it's all dry because you go to restart the engine, you can blow your mufflers apart if the thing arcs somehow. So, you know, from the moisture. But that's all nice and uh, dry, so we'll put the cap back on. I think I'll clean the carburetor up a little bit with some gum out, crank it up, spray it, and clean that up, and then touch up some of the paint on the engine that came off when I pressure washed it. But it's much cleaner in here now. Cleaned up pretty good. Looks pretty nice. I think what I'll do next is uh, grease up the chassis, seeing I ain't greased it since last uh, last year in this uh, fall. Not this past year, but the year before, so been kind of up in Romeo and I didn't have a grease gun up there that works, so I got it here. We're going to throw some grease in the fittings, cleaned up all the uh, bugs and stuff that were smashed under the hood. Got the car washed up, you know, it gets all the dirt around. The, you know, I use a California car duster, but you get dirt in around things and it gets it all out. And uh, I'll throw a coat of wax on it maybe tomorrow or the next day. I'm going to uh, vacuum it out right now. I'm not going to do any videoing on that. So it looks much better cleaned up. Wash the undercarriage. That's all nice and clean. Car needed a really good cleaning. So, looks much better. So maybe we'll get some cruising and I haven't really got any cruising in yet this year. We're here, we're in the middle of June and I haven't even been out on a Friday or Saturday night on Woodward. So, it's not storming tonight. They're predicting storms, but if it's not, We'll take a lap on Woodward and see if there's any cars out. If there is, I'll upload that. They got a cruise going progression. So we'll just take a look at this and uh, maybe I'll just drive down the road here a little bit and get some video of the dealership this car was sold new from. It's still in existence. Looks like there's more cars parked than there are driving. I think we'll get over a lane here. Oh, look at this. I gotta get a little video of this before we go any further. It's a 57. Look at this puppy. Carburetors. What a cool car. They had a fifty eight Dodge. This is a fifty seven. Pretty darn nice. Nice Ford, isn't it? Ford Galaxy. going very fast obviously by the way this is not Woodward this is Gratiot Avenue between 9 and 10 mile road The Chevrolet dealer up here on the right used to be called Marola Chevrolet. It's called Genesis now. That's where this car sold new. 
back in 1959 and I think we'll pull in there. That's it right there. Alright, here we are. This is called Genesis Chevrolet now and that's where this car sold new from. It was a Marola Chevrolet when I think the car sold new here. Anyway, that's what the paperwork shows. It was Marolas and I think this was more of the original dealer and this was maybe part of the lot. And the lot over there. That's their car lot there too. So this is the street corner we're at. Grashit and Garlander. So anyway, yeah, that's it. That's it. Still in business. I doubt the salesman that sold the car new here works here anymore. He may not even be around anymore. But anyway, this is where the car sold new from. Not as many cars here as the Woodward Cruise, but this is only a mile. I like that 68 Ford right there. This car is a pain to drive and film with because you got to shift gears in it. to call the police on that silver Saturn up ahead of me. He's all over the road. I'm sure he's drunk or high or something. So, I don't know. He's almost hit a few cars. Doesn't have a license plate on it. Um, so, it'll be, remain to be seen if the police catch up to it and uh, pull him over. through three jurisdictions and still nobody was able to pull him over but he pulled into a liquor store parking lot and unfortunately there was no license plate on the car so I couldn't give any of them the license plate but they had a car nearby and they were gonna send a patrol unit over to check it out so anyway I hope you enjoyed my ride with the uh, old, with the Bel Air got the deposit for the Catalina in the mail so Catalina is just sitting there waiting for its new owner and uh, I appreciate you watching my videos if you enjoy them please subscribe and thank you for watching Right, just a little update on that drunk driver. The driver pulled into a liquor store and I told 911 dispatch. I went through three communities, went switched to three different communities in the, in the uh, call, 911 call. But anyway, they called me back because they had located him at the liquor store that I told them that he turned into. I just turned on the road I needed to get on to. And uh, they called me back and asked me if I'd come back and sign a complaint. And I did, because I don't want to be at share the road with drunks. And uh, so they arrested him and pounded the car and towed it away. But apparently he had some previous felony warrant for drunk driving. I mean, he was obviously a mess when I went back to sign the complaint. He couldn't even hardly stand, so... Yeah, he was really, really drunk, obnoxiously drunk. So anyway, that was a little bit of an update. He went to jail. So one less drunk on the roads to have to deal with. Again, if you enjoy my channel, please subscribe and thank you for watching.